Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. Today's video is going to be about removing bloatware in realme devices without rooting the device. And in order to remove these applications, you would require a PC or a laptop. I have this realme 7 pro with me and there are a lot of pre-installed applications inside. Even though you can remove some applications directly, but some applications cannot be removed. So I thought to make this video and show you how you can do it in your own realme device. I'll put a download link in the description which contains the list of applications that are safe to delete. And with Android 11 update, some new applications have been included in Realme UI which cannot be removed directly. I'll also provide a link uh, to platform tools in the video description which is required in this process. Platform tools is a zip file which you need to download and extract anywhere in your PC. And I would also like to mention that Realme UI is loaded with uh, Oppo and ColorOS bloatware as well which might be the sole reason for storage issues and the device slowdown. Now let me take you, uh, let me directly take you to step number 1 which will be turning on developer options in your device. Uh, most of you might already know how to do this. Uh, in case you are not aware, you can go to device settings, then scroll down to bottom and go to this about phone. And here you have to go to this base button kernel. And once you are into this base button kernel, you can uh, tap on this build number multiple times until you get a banner message saying that you are a developer now. And once this is done, you can just go back and go to these additional settings. And here you can go to here you can go to these developer options. And once you are into these developer options, you need to enable USB debugging. You can just scroll down and tap on this uh, USB debugging and you can press OK here. And once you enable this USB debugging and one more thing you need to do here is that you need to turn on disable permission monitoring. Let me show you that option. You need to scroll down to the bottom here and you can see an option called as disable permission monitoring. You need to enable this one also so that you won't face any issue later in the process. So that's all what you need to do with the device here. You can go ahead and uh, connect your device to the PC. Now let me take you through the steps you need to follow using a laptop or a PC. And I forgot to mention that when you enable USB debugging in your device and when you connect your device to the PC, a pop-up like this will appear in your device. And what you need to do is that you need to press tick here and uh, press allow here. So that's all what you need to do with the device here. Now let me take you to the PC again. Now coming back to PC, as I told you in the beginning about extracting platform tools, so I have extracted that folder on this uh, desktop here. I'll just go ahead and open this folder here and I'll open this folder also and I'll type CMD in this address bar. So you can do the same in your PC as well. You can type this CMD and press enter. And once you press enter, you'll, you'll see a command prompt window will appear here. And now we need to see whether your device is connected uh, to the PC through ADB mode. So for that, you need to type this command ADB space devices and you can press enter. And once you press enter, you can see a code here. Now, so it means that my device is connected to this PC through ADB mode. You can also check if any code appears in your PC. So it means that your device is connected as well. Now, once you know that your device is connected, you can just uh, type one more command, which goes like ADB space shell. And you can press enter here. So now if you want a complete list of packages in your device, you can type a command, which goes like PM space list space packages space hyphen s and you can press enter. So this command will give a list of all the pre-installed applications that are present in your device. You can go ahead and copy all these uh, application names. You can just go copy like this and press control C and you can paste them in Microsoft Word or Notepad. So I won't be doing that here. As I already mentioned, uh, I will also be providing a link to the list of applications that are safe to delete in the video description. You can open that link side by side and go through this process. Now you have a list of package names of all the applications that are present in your device. There are four different commands which you can use here. One command is for deleting any application from the device and one is for disabling any application and one is for freezing. And if you are deleting any system application accidentally, you can press a command to bring it back. Now let's start with deleting any application from the system. The deleting command goes like pm space uninstall space two times hyphen then user then again space then zero then again space and you need to enter the package name here for example if i want to delete this finshell pay which has been recently introduced into realme ui and cannot be uh, deleted directly from the system you can press the package name here you can enter the package name here the package name for finshell uh, pay is com dot finshell dot fin and once you type this package name you can go ahead and press enter here and as you can see, the Finchel Pay has been successfully deleted from the system. You can do this for other applications as well. 
Now, if you are deleting any system application from the device, we should not be deleted. There is a separate uh, command for that. And as I, uh, as I told in the beginning that I'll be providing a link in the description, which will contain all those commands. So make sure to check them out. Now, if you are getting any error like failure, it means that either the application is not installed in your device or the application cannot be deleted. And for that, you would require to root your device. And if you are getting any error uh, related to permission, like permission denied, you need to go to the device settings, then developer options, and there you can, you need to turn on that option called as disable permission monitoring, which I told you in the beginning, and you would be good to go. So that's how you can delete system applications in Realme devices without rooting the device. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment and I'd be happy to reply. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing and press the bell icon so that you'll receive content updates from this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video.